Hey guys, I'm going to fix something different today. I have my Paula Dean, uh, it's like a 9 by 12. I don't know if it's 9 by 12, it might be 8 by 11, whatever it is. I've had this for a while, I ordered it, and I love it. I use it for everything. I put frozen home style meatballs that's already been, that just need to be, you know, cooked in a recipe. They, they're uh, done, but they're frozen. And I am going to put some uh, Alfredo sauce on top of this. I only had two different kinds. I'm just trying to clean out my pantry. Do you ever do that? And then I'm going to put some diced tomatoes. I have two different kinds that I had in my pantry. I had the garlic and then I had the basil, garlic, oregano and some grated Parmesan cheese. And then in the spices, I went in my spice cabinet and I saw that um, I might want to let me show you this wipe that off um italian herb sweet basil i thought that might give it a little bit of a difference and garlic powder and onion powder and i don't have the cheese so i've ordered that it'll be coming on a delivery and uh only cheese i had was a three cheese uh mexican cheese so i'm not i don't think i'm going to use that so i've got prom i say which one do i have I've got, I've got, of course, the Parmesan, and then I've got some grated mozzarella coming within the next 15, 20 minutes, and some provolone. So, that's what I'm going to do, and I'll try to remember to start tape this as I do it. So, I'll be back. Okay, next, this is what I've done so far. I took the frozen meatballs, put those in the bottom, then I layered on top the Alfredo sauce. I did both of the jars. They're smaller jars. I, I'll have to see what how many ounces. And then on top of that, I put, uh, let's see, I put Italian herbs, basil, garlic powder, and garlic, uh, excuse me, onion powder. Make sure it's the powder, not the salt. You don't want them too salty. So, and I know the next I'm going to do um, I'm going to put the tomatoes on top and just get those um, really good, you know, around the whole thing. But I'll come back and show you. Now, I have put Parmesan cheese on top. Okay, next, I have put, I didn't have very much. I'm just getting what's out of my refrigerator. I don't have a recipe with this, so hopefully it's going to turn out really great. I hope so. Anyway, I had this uh, Parmesan off the block. I only had very little of it, so I put that on top, and then just sprinkle it on, and then I put the, whoopsie, holy, holy, okay, Parmesan uh, cheese. I've sprinkled that on top. Okay, now I put shredded mozzarella cheese on the top. I thought about doing provolone, and I got it, and my order just came, but I have decided not to do that. So this is what I'm gonna put in the oven. I'm gonna put it at 375. I'm gonna put some foil on it so that the cheese will not melt quicker than the meatballs get done. Just a little bit of common sense on that, and uh, I'll come back when it's done. Okay, guys, so we're going to take this off, the finished product. There we are. It's got the cheese and the tomatoes and the meatballs, and we're going to dig into it. Okay, just plated it. Just got one serving out, and it looks delicious. Going to do a Caesar salad with it, and try it. I think you might like it. Love you guys. Hope you have a great day. Happy day. Be kind. Be kinder than they are. And don't forget to give a smile. If you do, you might get one back. I love you. Until tomorrow.